Hey, it's John Bowden, Shannon Edwards, and this is Rock History Music. And uh, some news from Stephen Hackett. Here's the thing. You know, whenever we hear someone's been hospitalized, that is someone we really like. There's always, especially with with Steve Hackett, who's been on the show like eight times. And I, you know, I've got it been eight. Yeah. It's like, it's it's like Steve Hackett and Ian Anderson and Rick Emmett. There's a few people who have been on here so many times. They feel like rock history music, like family. So when I read this, my my first thought was, oh no, is Steve is okay. Uh, He is okay. And uh, Shannon's going to read. There's a good piece on USA Today that kind of capsulized the whole thing. And uh, first of all, it's a message. Steve Hackett is okay. There's, uh, he is with Peter Gabriel. I'll, I'll get to the ages in a second. Just let me move my mouse here for a second. You don't mind. He is 74 years old and he is technically the oldest member of the classic six of Genesis. So we're going to get to your comments in a second, but let me just bring up the, there we go. I'll bring up Shannon. You go ahead. Um, from USA Today, from uh, actually written by Ed Maisley, the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix was filled with fans awaiting the arrival of Genesis Steve Hackett on Saturday, all while the guitarist was being rushed to the hospital from backstage. Hackett shared a photo of himself in a hospital room on Facebook Sunday to accompany a post about what happened. I'm so sorry for the scare, he wrote. I'd hoped to power through the Phoenix show, but I had a bronchial infection and a last minute adverse reaction to medication. Consequently, the medics took me to the hospital. I am now recovering and glad to be feeling okay. I was very sad to miss the show, and I will return to play in Phoenix as soon as possible. My thanks to you for all your understanding and support. The post was uh, signed with warmest wishes, Steve. He's just the nicest guy in the world. I remember being a little nervous when I first started, when I first talked to him years ago, I don't know how many years it's been. And he was so cordial and nice. And he found out that I'd lived in Vancouver and gave me his bit about living in Vancouver when he was a kid and like the theaters that he went to and all that stuff. But he's such a nice guy. Shannon's back. Yeah, it's nice to be back. Shannon's always been busy. Shannon's doing a lot. Uh, she just finished the David Henman interview. We're going to get back to Stephen in a second. Wasn't David Henman a cool guy? Oh, really cool. You know, April so, 1. And it's so nice to go back because we've been so busy with, with different um, interviews that have sort of been backdated that I'm just trying to go back in and clear it up and do a lot of editing of those um, interviews so that John can get them out. So we just realized we've got quite a few like in, the, 30, in the back. A lot. 30. We're going to look at the, first of all, the Genesis members. Steve Hackett is 74. He was born... Uh, February 12th, 1980, and we're up to Peter Gabriel. Mm, 74, February 13th, 1950. And we've got... Tony Banks, 74, March 27, 1950. And Mike Rutherford, 73, born October 1st, 1950. Phil Collins, 73, uh, born Jan 30th, 1951. And then we have Anthony Phillips, 72, born December 23rd, 1951. So a lot of early 50s. Eh? So, you know, you're getting, a, these are not young guys. All of our heroes have 10 years on me. Not on you. They've got 20 years on you. But for for us, there's always that thing when you're at that age. I mean, again, and, and Steve, I don't think will mind me saying this. You're at a certain age, anything can happen. Bad stuff can happen right off the bat. You ne- You just never know. So anyway, the bo- the bottom line is uh, actually Shannon, maybe you're going to read that again. Yeah, hi everyone. I'm so sorry for the scare. I hoped to power through the Phoenix show, but I had a bronchial infection and a last minute adverse reaction to medication. Consequently, the medics took me to hospital. I am now recovering and glad to be feeling okay. I was very sad to miss the show and will return to playing Phoenix as soon as possible. My thanks to you for all your understanding and support. With, with warmest wishes, Steve. And and there he is. That's the Steve Hackett we, we're used to. You know, just a, he's got the warmest eyes, just a nice guy. And, you know, you don't want to be a super fan when you're reporting stuff like this. But Steve Hackett is truly one of the most talented musicians. Was voted a few years ago Prog Musician of the Year from Prog Magazine because he's that good. And he's revisiting all the old Genesis stuff and has for quite a few years. So, I mean, we're just happy he's okay. So we're going to read some comments. See how you guys are doing. Um, 
Mark. Mark Bruchette. Hi, John and Shannon. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark. Nice to have nice you on to, here. Yeah. Uh, John Caldwell, I'm glad that he's doing okay. And Mark says, rock history alumni. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, Chris Snodgrass, <laughs> I'll put my prayers. Thank you, Chris. Uh, Neutral69, hi, Shannon and John. Hi. Hey. Uh, Steve. Uh, uh, Camito, Classic 5, LOL. Best wishes for a complete and total recovery. Uh, Rain Cloud Music, TFS6. What did I miss? I just got my phone up and running. So uh, Steve Hackett was brought to the hospital and uh, it was sort of a false alarm. Bad reaction to some medication. Mm, it can happen. And it was just before, what, the Phoenix show? And uh, but he's okay, and he and he and you know, being Steve Hackett, he released the picture, this picture here of going, "Hey, I'm okay, don't right worry." Right in the hospital room, you yeah, can see right, the in the like uh, seriously, Steve, and he released this statement. <laughs> Not I'll, that we needed to show the background of where he actually is. And here's the thing: would you wouldn't, you would not, you would say, "Do not release a picture of me in the hospital." <laughs> And you know what? It's a lot of people wouldn't because they go, well, that's not the best of me. I and mean, my brother was sick. The first thing he said is no pictures. But Steve's just an unassuming guy like that. This is who I am. It's important for you to know that. He likes doing his shows. Any more uh, people yeah, want to Yeah, the have... Celine 786 Shannon, hey. welcome back. Hi, thanks. Um, thanks for all the extra work you've been doing lately. Hey. Uh, Phil Manson, we Americans are very giving. Sometimes we share diseases. <laughs> Rain cloud TF uh, S6 is all these dudes are my mom's age. Well, see, that's the other thing, right? You're looking, they're not young, but who was I talking to the other day? Oh, uh, um, um, oh from Honeymoon Suite. Oh, uh, Derry Green. Derry, I said, I said, you know, it's a cliche to say you're on there, but it's good for your health to be up there. And he says, listen, unless you're hurting yourself, and you're on stage and you're hurting yourself because you have a condition which should prevent you from being on stage. Actually, being on stage is pretty damn good exercise. And, you know, the that that oomph you get from the, your audience. I mean, nothing can beat that. There's nothing like being on there. Everybody in the audience, they love you. Uh, the Celine uh, 786. It looks like John was finally let out of the doghouse, the cold basement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're trying to that. do. Well, here it is. This is our bedroom. This is our bedroom. The queen size beds over the king size beds over there, and we. Have I, d I just like John says. Look at I want to put up shelving in the back because I want to showcase a lot of the albums that I have, especially when I'm talking about certain artists. So I said, ah, just go for it. I don't find myself knocking into it very often as I'm racing to things. There's a little window there, like a, a window about this big, which is not meant to be open. And there's one in the in the walk-in closet over here. So this gives us good lighting. It, it's good lighting, and there's a big window right here. So usually. Uh, Shannon sat down. She says, oh, no, this is really bad lighting. I said, actually, honey, this is like the best lighting we have in this house. Uh, because I, I, I remember someone had ran into me the other day and he said, are you John? You look a lot older in real life. I'm going, yeah, well, I, I have really good lighting. And usually people aren't looking at me when she's on. They're looking at her. So that's it. Oh, uh, Subtle Shark says, get well soon, Steve. Uh, Chris yeah. says, I'm glad he's okay. Um, Ace Larson, get well, Steve. You're a legend. Uh, Neutral 69 says, your favorite Genesis song? Question mark. Oh, oh, boy. You know, someone was just saying that they were wondering why Genesis for the last few years hasn't done Abacab live because it's one of those dividing songs for them. But Je the Abacab has always been one of my pop version of Genesis uh, that I like. But I like, I like Selling England by the Pound. So much. The Knife is a great song. You know, some of the older stuff. But getting back to the ages of the people in Genesis. Oh, so Steve Hackett is 74 years old. And he is the oldest technically in in Genesis from the original classic lineup. Then we have Peter Gabriel. He's 74, February 13th, 1950. Tony Banks. He's also 74, March 27th, 1950. Mike Rutherford. Oh, oh where's Mike? Wait a minute. Wait a I'm minute. I, I, I got to take I got to take uh, Mike. There's Mike. Yeah. 73, October 1st, 1950. Then we've got Bill Cullen, 73, born Jan 30th, 1951. And we'd be remiss if we didn't mention... Anthony Phillips, 72, born December 23rd, 51. And remember, these were all... A lot of these guys were, were, were classmates. And uh, we're going to do... 
we're looking at this thing. I found this great website where it looks at some of the greatest uh, selling albums of all time. And it's interesting to see what has sold up to this date. Like I always use the term love will keep us together. The, the, the song love will keep us together as far as, okay, love will keep us together is the biggest captain Auntie Neil song. And I do believe it's still their biggest on Spotify, but certain times you will look at songs that were bigger in the seventies. That's when they came out. And you'll see if they stood the test of time with a younger audience, because a lot of a lot of Spotify is a younger audience. Some, right? But mostly, I would think, to see what cream has risen with the population that's out there now. So we're going to do a lot of that with Genesis. Uh, oh, I've still got Anthony on here. Wait a minute. Anyway, we're going to start doing this sort of thing. But we're really happy that, that he's okay. And we're happy to have Shannon back. So Shannon's going to try to come on at least once a day. We're... we're we're digging deep with this today in history. We wanted to do it on Rock History Book. The problem is we're so far behind in interviews. Like she's That's doing, where I come in. That Well, that, it's not her fault. It's basically my fault because I hate watching myself and I'm always putting it off. So Shannon says, well, I'm kind of used to you. I don't mind watching you. I don't mind taking... I know your cadence. I know the yeah, way you talk. Yeah. I don't really have to listen too far to know that you're going to put in an um or do something. Yeah. So it makes it easier. And she me. knows when I interview someone, I'll do a blah, 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 blah. And then at the end, I'll ask the question in a short form for whatever reason. And I've been doing that for the last 41 years in radio. And I'm not sure why. Oh, we got a super chat. That's really nice. Thank right you there. so much, Celine 786 Donation for new equipment needed on or the oh. channel. Thank you. You have yes, no idea. That's exactly what we're, we're pushing. Towards. Thank you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you so much because we're in the process now. Cause you know what? You guys bought us this and you know, when we have a, a smooth transition, like for instance, look, I was playing Peter Gabriel or look at Bing, just a little click. So you guys bought us one of those. We're buying another one for downstairs when we do it downstairs. We're in the process of buying a, 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 um, a Mac Mini for downstairs because we can't use Ecamm, which is the equipment we're using right now to stream. We can't use it on a PC and all we've got downstairs is PCs. And this is probably the only thing that, that techies would understand. The majority of us oh. are like going, oh. And then we got to buy another 4K camera and we're going. So thank you. And all the folks who, who made donations in the last two, three days, I appreciate that. There's a, there's always a link to make a donation via PayPal in the description of the videos and Patreon. And man, because of Shannon, we're putting a lot of stuff on Patreon. So anytime you want to help the channel, you don't have to. Times are hard for some people. But if you want to, the links are there where you can subscribe to the channel and all that stuff. Uh, got... Marcos Orlando Vito. I saw an amazing concert of Steve Hackett in Portugal and met him. Oh. He was a lovely guy. Wow. He was supposed to come to Calgary here just before COVID, and it, of course it was canceled. And I was going to go backstage and meet him in person. It would have been so nice. But since then, I think I've talked to him three times anyway. Uh, loyal Opposition, Dancing with the Moonlight Night. Oh, what a great classic song that is for uh, Genesis. John M. says, Steve is on my top 10 list. Hope he has a speedy recovery. Weird for me. The last show I saw at the Celebrity in Phoenix was um, NRPS, so I'm pretty close in age. Thanks to you both. Do you want to rewind that article from the USA Today? Maybe we could well, actually, or we could just do the, this is this, he was going to be doing a show in Phoenix and uh, uh, maybe yeah, we can read that one there. Um, hi everyone. I'm so sorry for the scare. I hope to power through the Phoenix show, but I had a bronchial infection and a last minute adverse reaction to medication. Consequently, the medics took uh, me to the hospital. I'm now recovering and glad to be feeling okay. I was very sad to miss the show, and I will return to play in Phoenix as soon as possible. My thanks to all of you for your understanding and support. With warmest wishes, Steve. And there's a lovely picture of him. Maybe not a lovely location, but he's... But he still looks good. Here he is in the hospital. He still looks like the dude. You know, <laughs> I remember through the years after he took his glasses off, because it's not that... I mean, he was always a beautiful man. You couldn't tell when he had these big, big... You know, like we used to call them point dexter glasses. And then he got contacts, obviously, or got laser surgery or whatever. And then you started realizing, wait a minute, Steve Hackett's like the good looking guy off. Uh, he's the good looking guy in the band and uh, still has his looks. So uh, Record Hound is back. Hey, Record Hound. Hi, John and Shannon. Uh, Oops, sorry. Mark says, I like the shirt, John. Thank you. Um, Record Hound says, Steve Hackett looks the youngest of them all. He does, actually. And Phil, obviously would look, I mean, Phil's, I asked Nick Collins maybe a month ago when I was interviewing him and Steve Lukather's son, 
Nick as Phil's son, how he was doing. And he just said, well, my dad's doing fine. You know, and, and, and I thought to myself, well, even if he wasn't, Nick can't really say, oh, my dad's not doing well. And I'm not, no disrespect to Nick, but you do that, right? You got to be careful with the things that you say about your family. And I hope he's doing well. You know, I, I, I and Nick did the right thing as a son. That's for sure. Uh, David Ryder, uh, Dodo and Lurker is great stuff. Oh yeah, Dodo. I haven't thought of that song. Um, for me overall, the newer Genesis, the, the, the beyond, and then there were three came out after Hackett left and then Duke came out. And to me, Duke is probably the best album with Phil Collins. I liked, uh, I liked Wind and Wuthering. I liked Trick of the Tail. Um, love The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. But really, the, the, the centerpiece for me is Selling England by the Pound. Uh, Melody R says, hi. Hi, Melody. Uh, David Portia, praying for a full and speedy recovery and back to um, trending the boards. I think he'll be fine. I, but the thing, in, again, to reiterate something that's really obvious is that when you're 74 years old, uh, he just turned 74 on February 12th. When you're 74, you, you got to watch it. But, uh, you know, he's has no plans on retiring. He has said that many times. He's told me that many times. Ian Anderson recently said, another guy who's been on the channel several times, he said, you know, my time is, you know, bursting out the brand new super set of that classic Jethro Tull set I was just told, by the way, I'm getting a, a giveaway, uh, a package for you guys. So if you join our mailing list, uh, uh, you'll, you'll be eligible um, uh, or, or join our Patreon. You'll be eligible to win a box set of Bursting Out from Genesis. We've got, oh, we're finally getting around to doing all these giveaways. We've got a Rush cover band uh, vinyl that's coming out that we're going to uh, give away. And a lot of other stuff. So join our mailing list and or join our Patreon. Uh, whenever you give a donation, of course, you're automatically uh, put in for all the, the uh, if, if you ever donate money, you're on, automatically in for every single draw we ever have. So there you go on uh, PayPal. Uh, the Celine 768. Well, he says at that point, over 98, watching two likes, please smash that love button. Smash it. Yes. Hit that like button, please. We so appreciate that. You know, it's, Shannon's uh, realized something that I went through. Sometimes while I would do an interview in the morning, I'll have, you know, again, 30 interviews that I'm behind. I'll go, oh, God, I got to get to it. It's so hard for me to change my my mind from going to doing an interview to clipping another interview. And that's why sometimes I'll tell Shannon when she's, because David Henman took two days. We're just starting to put that one on Patreon today. And, uh, oh, Malcolm Bruce is coming up today. Well, the thing is, I've got to add in, you, you know, not only with these guys are you talking for half an hour, but some of them are an hour, some of them are an hour and a half, some are two hours. So I've got to, so it takes me a little bit of time to go through. I'm going, yeah. hey, this is great stuff. But you guys just had so much to talk about. You just Rich, never stopped chatting. Richie Henman, the drummer, the original drummer Especially of April, April Line, yeah. two hours. And how long was David Henman, the, the original guitarist? Uh, hour, an hour and a half. half. Yeah. 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 And I thought, well, it's probably, you know, maybe about half an hour. You guys just shooting the, you know what, the first cut at yeah, beginning yeah. to work. No, it was all good stuff. So it was. It was well, uh, you never know how long you have. And one of the things that I do, whenever I have a half an hour interview, I'll say, well, Gary Graham the, the, the other day, the, the lead guitarist, one of the main songwriters of the Honeymoon Suite, the Canadian band, who have had a few U.S. hits. I asked him right off the bat, I said, you know, we're, we're really getting onto a nice vibe. And I said, by the way, do you have one at the, at the top of the hour? He said, no, 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 I don't. Go ahead. Let, let's go for it. So that was another hour interview. It's better to get more than not an, not enough because you never know where you're going to be. It's strange, you know, here we've got an SLR camera, which you guys help us buy with donations. But there's the, there's the Canon logo. I keep looking at the Canon logo. And some people will look at the viewfinder and this is where you're supposed to look. I don't know. But I'm going all over the place. Over the place. <laughs> uh, Keith, Dexter, hey, you hey, two Keith. cuties. Hi, Keith. Keith just went on a... A, I don't know if I, did you have a fifth wheeler or did you have a trailer? I'm not sure. He went all over the place, ran into some snow, went with a friend of his and just went through the U.S. and had some wonderful pictures. Uh, and Keith has been a good friend, a, a great follower of the channel, but really more than that, he's just been a, he's just become a friend of ours. As a lot of followers have been, after a while you just get to know people, right? Uh, Marcus Slade, coming to this late and was spooked by the headline. I trust he's okay, and yes, he, he is. is okay. Uh, uh, after you finish with the, we're going to wind up because I've got to get this Malcolm Bruce 
a thing up. He talks about his, his dad, uh, Jack Bruce, a lot. Talks about Ginger Baker a lot and Eric Clapton. And I'm just doing some B-roll right now to whenever I do a band, I, I like to have like a little intro video that's a short bio of whoever we're going to talk about because we don't want to assume the people who watch our videos know everything. A lot of you do, but we never want to do that journalistically wise. You have to like over explain things sometimes because it's for a broad audience, not only for the people who know, which is a lot of you guys. So bottom line is Steve Hackett had to cancel his show in Phoenix. He's okay. Uh, he, he sent, he put up this picture and he also, there's a little message, which it says, uh, adverse reaction to medication, but he's, he's hoping to reschedule the show. Uh, so, uh, thank you for, thank you for everyone who, who, who helped our channel. We really appreciate it. And, uh, uh, like our videos, it, there's a Patreon link there. There's a PayPal link there. If you want to help us out. Uh, and giveaways coming up, which is we're really excited about. Mm -hmm. Some giveaways that we'll be we'll be mailing out. John Bowden and Shannon Edwards. Rocky History Music. Take care. Bye. It's supposed to turn on.